Tools by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can quickly load PDF documents into Photoshop. Uh, you can use them via the File Open as well as the File Place command. Now, first thing to do, just quickly go to File Open. I'm just going to select one of my sets of uh, PDF documents. Of course, you might have your own sets of PDF documents. And just select that. This one can be found on the uh, PAC 75 heart set on the uh, Graphic Extras website. Click Open. When you actually open it, it comes up with a little import PDF document and it shows you all the PDF vector shapes inside that and all the heart designs. So you can just quickly select, and I'm just going to select one of them. Now, what you can do, you can set an image size. Now you can go for a fairly large size, or you can go for maybe, just something a bit more manageable, 1200, and set the resolution as well as the color mode. So there's options of grayscale, CMYK, etc., as well as bit depth. So 16 bit or 8 bit. I'm just going to go for that. Click OK. Just get a document open like that. Now you modify that design. So you apply effects, etc., as well as duplicate it. I'm just quickly rotate around, duplicate just by holding the Alt key down. Now, another option, of course, you can actually then move those into another document. So you can just basically drag them into, say, another open document. Right, another option, file, and I'm just going to go to an empty document. So file and place embedded or place linked. So I'm just going to go for the embedded option. And again, select PDF document. Now, many of the sets on the Graphic Extras website are actually individual PDF documents. Some of the later ones are actually combinations of just into one single PDF document. So once again, you get this dialog that comes up and you can select from the display which one you want. So I'm just going to select that one, click OK, and it's just brought, imported in, and then you can resize it. It's a vector design, so you can put, make it any size you want. So you just stretch it and distort it, as well as, in the end, if you wish, you can apply effects. So you just say layer, layer style, or you can just flatten it, or maybe apply smart filters to the design. Right, once you've done that, that's it. You've got your PDF document. And of course, if you wish, you can save it as a PNG file, TIFF file, etc. Hope you found this of interest.